Hello guys, my name is JB Dan and today I will show you how to uninstall Office 2019 using a batch script. In other words, how to create a batch script or a batch file that uninstall Office 2019. Now I got this idea from a request. Not really, it's not a request, but it's more like an idea. Someone someone Ask me to give him or her a script, a batch file, a batch script that can uninstall Office 2019. Well, I say I will make a tutorial video about it. Then I tell him to ex expect a new video from me about his, I mean, teaching people, including him, on how. To uninstall Office 2019, you know, like the one he requested. Okay, so by the way, he didn't request to make this video, but he, what he did is he asked me if I can give him a batch script that can uninstall Office 2019. All right, enough with the chit chat. Sorry about that. Let's go. In. Let's. Continue, right? So this is a text file. As you can see, to turn this into a bat into a batch file, all you have to do is rename this. You see this? This is a text file. Hold on. As you can see, it has .txt. If I rename it to .bat, it will ch it will change into a .bat file but first it will notify me if I want to change hey if I want to change this file type or not by changing the file extension click yes and it will throw in itself into a new batch file now it is important to note that you can only do this if you enable if you enable file extension so basically in Windows 11 all you have to do is click this button right here the view button and then show and then show file name extensions all right in Windows 11 I mean in Windows 10 Windows 7 up to Windows XP I'm pretty sure that there is an option to enable enable File extension hell even going back as far as Windows 95 okay so without further ado let's go ahead and start coding uninstall go ahead and name your batch file uninstall office 2019 there we go uninstall office 2019 this will be my name but you can give it whatever whatever name you feel like all right so as you can see hey look at this i got the update okay so as you can see start by typing echo off then type home cls color 0f this is the color code this will be the color of your not only your font but also your the color of your CMD background so you actually don't need this but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to use it to make light text so basically this is basically what it does I mean this is what it does as you can see it turns the text into white text so yeah make it easier for all of you to read title this will be the title of you this will change the title of your cmd cmd window again it's not important but to make it to make your batch file prettier i recommend you to i recommend you to change your cmd window title uninstall in office 2018 as you can see the easiest part is is that all you have to do really is to just locate the office uninstaller considering that we are going to use 
Office 2019, just search one of its application like for example Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and etc. For this we are going to use Word because it is the easiest one so far. Now as you can see, right click open there we go now all you have to do is locate the uninstaller alright you locate the uninstaller which is easier said than done look there you used I mean there will be a way to uninstall this stuff just look look it up Oh yeah, I just find out that I just find out guys that uh, Office 2019 actually doesn't have an uninstaller or did it? I don't know. But seriously, it doesn't have a main uninstaller file. Usually everything usually a software will have an uninstall will have a dot will have an exe file, you know, a program like this one right here, exe exe file that is responsible for uninstalling the software itself the problem with that however is well it doesn't have that so we have no choice but to do a manual manual delete I don't know if you manage to somehow find and locate the uninstaller file then all you have to do is basically all you have to do is change the directory to the in uninstaller file basically where is the uninstaller file is located of course it will be located in the folder now change your directory to that folder no insert uninstall file folder directory here and then all you have to do is simply type start insert the full name of office 2019 uninstaller file here and then don't forget to add quotation because bash file hates quotations i mean bash file hates spaces now as you can see since i cannot locate the uninstaller file all i have to do is just simply navigate to the programs files since i'm mainly using the d drive and in fact the desktop folder is located on the D drive. On my D drive, I'm going to use, I'm going to change drive. Now, this is the command that is used to change the hard drive. So, this is the C drive. Meanwhile, I use the D drive. As you can see, CD desktop. There we go. Located on the D drive. Keep in, keep in mind that you can't just use CD. No, you just can't. But you can use the D switch and then it will work. Now, as you can see, after that, RDQS. This is a command useful for removing a directory, aka a folder. Now, this is the full name. Now this has spaces in it, again, be sure to add quotation because if you don't, if you just leave it at this, CMD will confuse it as just Microsoft, alright? So this space is, cannot be allowed, so that's why you add quotation. I'm pretty, uh, yes, I'm pretty sure every programming language does this, so let's move on. Now, 
due to the fact that I just don't want to run this because I still want to use my office. All right, I cannot run this because I have to install everything again and set it up again. But it should work. It should definitely work. Look, here I will give you a demonstration. I will create a fake office 2019 folder just to give you the demonstration. There we go. Now, office 2000. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm just going to create. Yeah. MS Office, there we go. MS Office. Now, edit this. MS Office, there we go. Save that. Now, considering that we are going to delete a folder from a C drive, and this is program. Consider, considering that we are going to down we are going to delete a folder from the C drive and this is a folder from a program files we need a, an admin privilege so yeah this is what happened when you just straight up run this batch file hold on Now as you can see, this this is the code right here. Pause. If we just go ahead and run this, it will spew out access is denied. There's a good reason behind that error because CMD has no access, therefore it cannot delete the this folder right here. MS Office folder. But if we run, if we run this as an administrator, it doesn't show anything. But it will. If we go back, we can see that MS Office, our MS Office folder, no longer exists, and it's quick because the folder itself has nothing in it. But if you try to uninstall your uh, MS. I mean, if you try to uninstall Office to 2019 by just using this batch file, I'm pretty sure it, it will take longer. Not only that, but Office, MS Office will surely leave stuff outside of its installation folder. So, for example, it will leave stuff on the app data. Alright. So, yeah. App data. Local role. So basically, take that as a grain of salt because MS Office will surely leave its trace on not just the program files folder but on any place, on different place of your PC, of your Windows. So, yeah, it's not necessarily a full uninstallation, but you'll get the point. I mean, if that's just too hard for you, then just, you know, search up Add or Remove Programs. This is for Windows 10 and 11, by the way. If you are using win Windows, if, we, if you are using something that is below Windows 10, like Windows 7, 8, or Windows XP, just visit your control panel. Oh, wait, no, not Windows XP. Windows 7 or 8, yes, just visit your control panel and then select uninstall program. Here just search office, yeah, right here, and then just click uninstall, that should do it, that's the trick, office 2019, just click uninstall. You don't even need to code your own batch file, but if you want to get 
if you want to impress your friend then this is for you okay that's it that is it for now guys if you like this video please subscribe like and comment like and give this video a comment thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye Thank you.